In this video, we will look at the settings screen and how to set up a new register. When you first receive your system from your solution provider, it may already be configured for you, or you might have to enter the enrollment code. This is the code used to identify the individual till so the web portal knows which settings to apply. If your system arrives and has not been configured, tap the button in the top right corner with the three dots and tap settings. Now tap where it says enrollment code. Enter the code you have been provided by your solution provider ensuring there are no spaces. Please be aware that this is case sensitive. After entering the code, tap OK and tap the Enroll button. The system will then verify the code and synchronize with the web portal. Your device must have an internet connection for this process to complete. If you are offline, you will not be able to enroll your device. Once the sync is completed, tap the Done button and you are ready to start using Register. Once your system has been enrolled, it is unlikely you will return to the settings screen. However, there are a few things we can do here. If for some reason you have an issue, your solution provider might ask you to let them know the version number. This can be found at the bottom of the screen. The other troubleshooting step they might ask you to complete is what is called a full sync. When you tap the full sync button, it will re-download all the data from the web portal. This can be useful if you have been having Wi-Fi issues and want to ensure all product data is up to date. Finally, Register supports a number of other languages. By default, the system will use the same language as the device if supported, which is typically English. To change this, tap Language and tap the desired language from the list. The application will then change all text and messages to that language, but will not adjust product names. Further information on the settings and enrolling your device can be found in your user manual. If you still have any questions, please get in touch with your solution provider, who will be able to offer further assistance.